Hi, this is Josh Gates. I'm here talking about Attila the Hun. When it comes to history's most infamous leaders, few were more feared than Attila the Hun. In the 5th century, Attila and his armies swept across Europe like a plague, striking fear into the heart of the Roman Empire. But despite being such a larger-than-life character, the final resting place of Attila has been lost to history. So I'm joining explorers who may be close to finding Attila's tomb and the possible riches hidden within. The hunt is taking place in one of Eastern Europe's most charming cities, Budapest, Hungary. Picturesque streets, Baroque architecture, and enough pubs and cafes to last a lifetime. To get around town, you can always grab a car, and with so much history here, your rental might just turn out to be a relic. Say Soviet-made UAS 469 light utility vehicle comes with all the amenities you might expect, including way too many shifter knobs, uh, an abundance of buttons and switches that seem to do nothing, and what else? Uh, oh, a uh, full Cold War era spy listening station. If your car breaks down, you can always travel the way that people did in Attila's time, along the banks of the Danube. Although I doubt the Huns had a hydrofoil. The Hun army was so successful not just because of brute force, but because of their skills. Hun archers were crack shots on horseback. And just outside of Budapest, I'm meeting up with a group of riders who are keeping the tradition alive. Though I quickly find out, it's not as easy as it looks. Focus on our target. You have to focus on the horse, their bow, the target you were shooting, everything in one time. All right. <laughs> Be the bow. Be the bow. OK, here we go. days. It's hopeless. Okay, I got it. It's so hard! Okay. There are a lot of theories about the location of Attila's tomb. Some believe it's in the hills and are searching from the air and on the ground, or at least dangling perilously above it. Some historians believe that the tomb may be underwater and are conducting some of the first explorations in the Danube. Visibility here is nil, but that doesn't mean there's nothing to find. I'm on top of the object. I can feel it, but I can't tell what it is. Oh my god. So whether you're interested in joining the search for Attila the Hun, or just searching for your next great vacation, head to Budapest and start your own Hungarian adventure. I'll see you out on the road.